This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to look at formal charge. Formal charge is used to determine which Lewis structure is preferred when more than one is possible. The formal charge is the charge an atom would have if all the atoms in a molecule had the same electronegativity. The preferred Lewis structure is the one where the individual atoms have the lowest possible formal charge, that is the formal charge that's closest to zero. Next we look at how to calculate the formal charge of an atom. So it's the number of valence electrons in the atom minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus half the number of bonding electrons. An easy formula to remember is Fc, so that's formal charge, equals V minus N minus half B. So that's number of valence electrons minus number of non-bonding electrons minus half the number of bonding electrons. Let's look at an example. Here we have two possible Lewis structures for carbon dioxide. In both Lewis structures, the octet rule is followed for each of the atoms. In the structure on the left, we have double bonds between the carbon and the oxygen atoms. On the right, we have one triple bond and one single bond. So next, we'll calculate the formal charge on each atom to determine the preferred Lewis structure. So let's start by calculating the formal charge for the two oxygen atoms. So we have 6, which is the number of valence electrons in an oxygen atom, minus 4, which is the number of non-bonding electrons, minus half the number of bonding electrons. Here we have a double bond, which is composed of four shared electrons. So therefore we have six minus four, minus half of four, which is two, gives us a formal charge on both oxygen atoms of zero. Next we'll do the carbon atom. So that's four, which is the number of valence electrons, minus zero, which is the number of non-bonding electrons. There are zero non-bonding electrons around this carbon atom. Minus half eight, that's the number of bonding electrons. We have two double bonds, and that gives us a formal charge on the carbon atom of zero. So in this Lewis structure, each atom has a formal charge of zero. Next, we'll do the Lewis structure on the right. So we'll start with the oxygen atom on the left. So we have six valence electrons minus six non-bonding electrons minus half two, which is the number of electrons in a single bond that gives us a formal charge of negative one. In the oxygen atom on the right, we have six valence electrons minus two non-bonding electrons minus half six, because there's six shared electrons in a triple bond, that gives us a formal charge of plus one. And finally, the carbon atom, we have four valence electrons minus zero non-bonding electrons minus half of eight, and that gives us a formal charge on the carbon atom of zero. So in this Lewis structure, this oxygen atom has a formal charge of negative one, the carbon has a formal charge of zero, and this oxygen has a formal charge of plus one. As I mentioned earlier, the preferred Lewis structure is the one that has formal charges on the atoms closest to zero. So the Lewis structure on the left is the preferred Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. Next, we'll have a look at one more example. Here are three possible Lewis structures for SO2 sulfur dioxide. Let's calculate the formal charge on each atom to find the preferred Lewis structure. So let's start with the Lewis structure on the left. On the oxygen atom, we have a formal charge of zero. The formal charge on the sulfur atom is plus one, and the formal charge on this oxygen atom is negative one. Moving on to the next Lewis structure, we have a formal charge on this oxygen atom of negative one. On the sulfur atom, it's plus one, and on this oxygen atom, it's zero. And finally, the Lewis structure on the right. As you can see, the formal charge on the oxygen, the sulfur, and the second oxygen is zero. The preferred Lewis structure is the one where the individual atoms have a formal charge closest to zero. Therefore, the structure on the right is the preferred one. An interesting point to note about the Lewis structure on the right, it has the sulfur atom expanding its octet with 10 electrons in its valence shell. The sulfur atom is able to do this because it's in period three, it's able to use its d orbitals for bonding. 
In this last example, we're going to look at two possible Lewis structures for N2O. The Lewis structure on the left has the nitrogen atom with the plus one formal charge and the oxygen atom with a negative one formal charge. The Lewis structure on the right has the nitrogen atom with the formal charge of negative one and this nitrogen atom with a formal charge of plus one. So in this case, which is the preferred Lewis structure for N2O? Well, the structure on the left has the negative formal charge on the more electronegative atom, which is oxygen. Therefore, it is the preferred Lewis structure. So if you have an example where the overall formal charge on two Lewis structures is the same, then you look to the Lewis structure which has the negative formal charge on the most electronegative atom. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.